Hey, what's going on everybody? In today's video, I'm going to discuss objects in JavaScript. An object is a collection of related properties and or methods. Properties are things that an object has, such as a first name or an age. A method is a function that belongs to an object. For example, I have a person object. Our person can say hello and they can say bye. Methods are just functions that belong to an object. What can this object do? Objects can represent real world objects, such as people, products, or places. In this example, we'll be creating some people objects. People from the show SpongeBob. We'll start from scratch though. We'll create a person object. I'll use a constant, although it's not necessary. Const person equals, then add a set of curly braces. We'll start with any properties. You can add as many properties as you would like. They're in key value pairs. This person will have a first name key, colon, then some value. This person's first name will be SpongeBob. Separate each key value pair with a comma. Let's include a last name property. Last name, colon, space, will be SquarePants. Add a comma when you're done with this key value pair. We'll add an age property of 30. Age has a different data type. It's a number. The first two in my example were both strings, SpongeBob and SquarePants. Let's add a Boolean. Is employed, colon space, I will set that to be true. He has a job at the Krusty Krab. Okay, that's good enough for now. I would like to access these properties. Let's console.log. If I need one of these properties, take the object you're referring to, in this case person, dot the name of the property. Let's do first name person.firstName property, that would give me Spongebob. Let's do this with last name. Take the object name, dot, the name of the property. Person.lastName is SquarePants. Let's do this with age. Person.age is 30. Person.isEmployed is set to true. All right, let's create another object. We'll create an object for Patrick const person. Now objects can't have the same name. Objects need different names. For example, I can't have two person objects. They can't have the same name. Syntax error. Identifier person has already been declared. I will rename our first person as person1. Our second person will be person2. Then any place in which I'm referencing person will now need to be person1. Let's reuse these same key value pairs. Person 2's first name will be Patrick. His last name will be Star. Patrick will be, I don't know how old he is according to the TV series, let's say he's 42. Is Patrick employed? No. He just watches TV all day. Now I would like to access Person 2's properties. Okay, we'll console.log, Person 2's first name, Person 2's last name, Person 2's age, Person2 is employed. Okay, for Person2, we have Patrick, star, 42, false. So those are properties of an object. They're key value pairs. Add as many as you would like. In this example, these properties mimic real world attributes that a person might have, like a first name, last name, age, whatever you can think of. But not only that, objects can have dedicated functions that we refer to as methods. What sorts of actions can these objects perform? For example, a person could eat, they could drink, they could sleep. What sorts of things do people do? So just to keep this simple, I am going to create a function to say hello. We'll start with person one. Say hello, colon space. This will be a function expression. What are we going to do? When we invoke this function, let's console.log what would SpongeBob say if he's greeting somebody? Hi, I'm SpongeBob. Be sure you're not including a semicolon at the end. That should work. Let's test it. I'm going to have person one invoke their say hello method. Hi, I'm SpongeBob. Let's add a say hello method to Patrick, person two. We'll change the output of say hello. What would Patrick say? Hey, 
I'm Patrick, dot, dot, dot. Now we'll have person two use their say hello method. Hey, I'm Patrick. You can add as many methods as you would like. So with these functions, we're using a function expression. If you prefer, you could even use an arrow function. List your arguments, arrow, then the code you would like to perform. This would work too. Let's add an eat method. Eat function. We'll use a function expression for SpongeBob. Let's console.log. What is SpongeBob eating? I am eating a Krabby Patty. We'll include an eat function for Patrick as well. What's Patrick going to eat? Patrick is eating. I am eating roast beef, chicken, and pizza. And if you would like, you can use an arrow function for this example. List your parameters, arrow, then the code you would like to perform. It's not necessary, but I do like arrow functions. Person one, SpongeBob, will use his eat method. Same thing goes with Patrick, person two. So SpongeBob is eating a Krabby Patty. Patrick is eating roast beef, chicken, and pizza. All right, everybody, so JavaScript objects are a collection of related properties and or methods. Properties are what an object has. Methods are functions that an object can perform. They can represent real world objects such as people, products, or places. Properties are key value pairs. Methods are functions that belong to an object. And well, everybody, that is an introduction to object-oriented programming in JavaScript.